We're here at uh, Teachers College, Columbia University, and we have two workshops. STEM Teachers NYC is giving two workshops, uh, one on rotational motion for physics and our uh, chemistry and biology workshop, Energy is Energy, about a uniform way of teaching energy. My name is Dong Hong, and I, I taught chemistry for many years. Energy is a uh, theme that goes through all disciplines of science and we believe talking to students or having students talking about energy um, in the same way will really enhance their understanding this. about you energy. Turn, this, is the, this is the gas valve. You turn on the gas valve and this is the lighter. So the first uh, activity we did was to let every group start with um, chemical reaction, carry out a chemical reaction and make observations on um, the signs of chemical change as well as how energy is involved. We talk about what's happening in those reactions with energy. And it's all about kind of figuring out where the energy is coming from, where it's going and that kind of thing. So it's been really helpful to hear how chemists, physicists and biologists all talk about energy differently. We reported to the class the observations of each reaction and um, through discussion we came up with this idea uh, that energy uh, has another way of storing, being stored, which we call it uh, chemical energy. Now, is this the same kind of endothermic reaction as what they had? Remember, they had to keep their test tube in the flame the whole time for the reaction to happen. My favorite part of these workshops in general is feeling the enthusiasm and the passion that people have and helping me get to a deeper level of understanding myself so that when my kids ask questions, I kind of know what the misconception might be. And I liked the first part of the workshop because we do physics first and to know how they're set up in physics before they come to me is a helpful thing in terms of keeping the thread continuous and consistent. So how do we think about energy and chemistry <clears throat> and how does that then translate into into biology where the uh, participants were given four uh, student statements uh, that were that I typed out. They have to determine out of the ones that they're presented with uh, which ones are uh, accurate, which ones are less accurate, um, are all of or none of them 100% accurate. Uh, and so they're doing that in relation to ATP hydrolysis. Right. Right. If an electron's at a high energy level, I assume that it's at a higher shell? Yes. Whereas Harry's last statement is like, a bond that is storing that much energy needs to be strong in order to break it apart. The group thinks that Neville is probably the, the um, most accurate. Time for chlorophyll. So uh, DH is passing around um, some little green vials. In the chlorophyll exercise, the, each, each participant was given a vial of uh, chlorophyll that was extracted from uh, spinach leaves, uh, and they could shine a black light on it, and what that did was it, it, it turned the chlorophyll uh, red, and so that was an example of how light energy coming in to, can excite the electrons within the chlorophyll molecule, and then when those electrons fall back down again, it's that energy is re-released as light. I'm not as much after the content as I am after how to get my students to reach that deeper level of understanding. The workshop leaders, their ability to engage students in discourse and to probe for that deeper understanding is an art as much as a science and learning how to ask the correct questions is a huge part of what I'm trying to learn. It's been addicting <laughs> to lead these. For me, the, the discussions that happen and the passion that people have uh, is phenomenal and it's really uh, energizing to to be a part of that process. And typically when the electrons come back down to their ground state that energy is passed on to other chlorophyll molecules that are arranged very closely together uh -huh. but because they're all loose in there they just that energy is emitted as the light. Uh -huh. I would definitely recommend this to other teachers. We're actually getting to interact, we're actually getting to do experiments like our students would do and we're actually getting to kind of play the student as well as understanding things from a teacher's perspective. I have believed since I was a little, little boy 
that uh, science was just the coolest thing there was. Each of us can be better than we are, and it's amazing how good uh, science teaching can be uh, with all the resources and, uh, and, and all the thinking that goes into uh, this wonderful field. Thank you, and uh, have a great workshop. Okay.